I enjoyed. Victory or death! Though he grew up ashamed of his father for drinking Manoroth's blood, Garrosh Hellscream was filled with fierce pride when he learned of growing. Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome to NGS Season 17. I am excited to be back and casting again. It's been a long wait. Tonight, we have Wait Till 10 versus the High Inquisitors. And the first map we are going to is Dragonshire. And it looks like they're ready already. Let's go straight to the draft. Okay, hello everyone. Um, so first things first, thank you for the subscri subscriptions, Ash Bass and TJ Wombo. Thank you very much. Um, I appreciate it. Um, so let's see. First thing, we have the draft going on Dragonshire and my... There we go. It took a while to, to load up. I'm not quite sure what happened there, but the draft has started. Um, the red team has first um, picked first draft, and they started off at Anubarak, um, followed by Junkrat by the blue team, and then Falstad was the second band for the red team. Red team is the High Inquisitors on the right, and the blue team is Wait Till Ten on the left. And Brightwing is the second band for the blue team. So that's one global gone with Brightwing, and one other global gone and follows that for the red team. So they both um, banned out one global. And Hogger is the first pick on the red team. Okay, that's their offlane. He's going to be good for taking it at those camps. I expect to see the hard camp taken a lot um, and early. Oh, Lenara. Oh, I like Lenara on this map because her, her um, Wisp with the level one Wisp takes up so much area, you have so much vision control. You put it in one of the bushes, either on the top or in the bottom, and you see pretty much the entire area there, so hard to gank there. And Joanna, my favorite tank, probably the easiest tank. Um, I like it. Um, it's often banned, but if it's not banned, it's often picked. And there it is. Blue team has their tank and one of their DPS. What is the red team going to counter with? Um... They need pretty much everything. They just have one so far with their offlane. So they got Jaina and Rhaegar. There's your healer and there's your burst DPS. I like it. Johanna is going to be using her trait quite often when she tries to run into Jaina. So I wonder if she's going to take the ability to reduce her trait on level 4. Um, I like that because uh, I used it quite often. <laughs> Ooh, Zeratul, banned out. That must be a target ban. That must be a target ban on on the red team. You don't see Zeratul banned out too often unless you know something's up. And there goes Anduin ban. So that's um, one healer down, the Man King himself. Not going to play tonight. Murder is the easiest time because you can enjoy, just ignore your own team. <laughs> that is true. Um, Murden is very tanky and he could just jump away when he, he wants to. And so we got Stukov and Orphea taken by the red team. And so, let's see, the red team still needs a tank. What can... Let's see, who's, who's still left? Murden's still up. Um... May. Okay, May and Hanzo. I wonder if she's going to go Ice Wall or Avalanche. And there's Lord. There is your um, offlaner. It's going to be Lord versus Hogger. 
Anyone going to swap roles? No. It looks like everyone is going to be here. Hey, Rating Gaming, you made it. Yay. Sorry for the ping earlier. Didn't mean to accidentally ping you. That autocorrect is pretty bad for me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are a guest of honor. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Ooh, look at this. Look at this. Portrait synergy. I like it. High Inquisitors have all white main for their High Inquisitor team. I like it. They get plus one for me. Nicely done. Nicely done. All right. Here we go. On the left side, the blue team, wait till 10. We have... Ronin on Joanna, Lady Ronin on Stukov, Iceman on Lunara, Tantrum on Orphea, and Hannibal on Leoric. And on the right side, the red team, the uh, High Inquisitors, we have Kill Fairy on Jaina, Thin Maniac on Rhaegar, Tuesday's Free on Hanzo, Pina Colada on May, and Funko on Hogger. Alright, let's see. Ooh, Laws of Hope. You don't see that too often. Um, Feather Touch, ooh, no low blow, but there's the Wisp Talent, um, Ancestral Strength, Assassin Renewal, Fingers of Frost, Colossal Totem, Target Practice, Ice Storm, and On the Prowl. Okay, Lyark is going straight to the top, going to ignore everyone, and the Wisp, the Wisp is down here, and spotted by Hanzo, properly killed, and just a little skirmish, Blue's playing it safe because Lyark already went up top, and Harvey's going to join him, so... Um, Blue has to... Oh, May's okay. May's okay. She's May. Uh, and there's Orphea with her, um, her very annoying um, blue thing. I can't remember what it's called. But all I know, it's really annoying. Lyark is going to try to stop Hogger. Ooh, but Hogger. Um, bothered him, I guess, because he turned around. So usually we have the offlaner double soap, the top and middle. But it looks like May is going to help Hogger. And uh, Leark and Hogger is just going to stay up top, I guess. Camps are up. Are they going to go for it? Red team is going, and Joe's going to spot him, and May sees Joe. And Joe's just trying to be annoying, but she could be in trouble. Oh, but she's got her trait. She's okay. Joe is okay. All right. Camps are taken. Gaina is going to have to back up. She's out of mana. That's one problem with Gaina. She uses so much mana and she has to get her, um, her quest done. Oh, May. May's okay. Oh, see, I slides into the tower. <laughs> he gets promptly stopped. Okay. Blue team's got control on the top. Red team's got control. I mean, on top. Blue's on bottom and red's got the top. Yeah, it's going to be as annoying as possible, and May slides out. Who has, still has the camp going. I'd like to see Hogger try to get this camp, but he can't really do it, because he has got to protect. Are they going to get it? I think he's going to get it. And yes, he gets it first. Ooh, and now he gets the kill down below on May. They get the dragon and the kill. Oh, and we got a pause. Okay, so that probably means... Um, someone died, and that, I mean, someone disconnected, and that's why May died. Okay. So let us go here. Looks like someone got a lag spike. They are not saying if they are ready yet. Yeah, it looked like May had the lag spike, and that could have probably contributed to her death. Very untimely, very untimely, but it happens. That's what happens when you're dealing with the internet. Uh, 
and our no oh, okay we got a three two one okay we don't need to see that again there we go all right dragonite is going bottom that is commonly the win condition the bottom lane so it's probably gonna go it's pretty early so it, it shouldn't get more than the walls wall and towers but we'll see if they get another death because here comes Faye they should be back here he is oh nice light can they get oh dragon's almost dead and oh yeah okay nice nice okay so they did get the wall and the two towers didn't expect to see much more of that um august got his hands full keeping up with Leoric, so he hasn't had time to get any of the camps the team is rotating onto hogger he's a spin there's joe with the condemn oh 60 oh 500 hit points get out oh if he wasn't already spinning towards the tower i think he could have could have died he didn't know the blue team was in the bush but and but he was spinning to his base so he was able to make it out the orcs looking um okay he sees hogger up top oh no maybe he didn't see him yet all right so blue, red team is going camps blue team's getting the bottom camp Half level lead for blue team. Red team finally got their camp. A little slower. Oh, big push on the bottom with this camp. Four people here. All right, red team's finally here. We're all four. Can they? Oh, the blue team. I think blue team's waiting. Waiting for the minion wave. Nope. Nope. They are. Uh, May is chasing. Nope. I thought they were going to chase. I thought. I really thought blue team was going to push into that but i guess they didn't want to take a chance oh red team's invading here we go we could go have a nice big oh okay i, I like the, um stukov's town build he's going there um the is that w no that's e well he's not he's not doing the low blow which is the common one i like this because it has good um slows I think he's, he's he's looking for that all right hugger's gonna get the top the team's gonna get their camp all right another big fight in the middle nope blue team is oh the blue team tried to chase may but she's may he's okay too oh are we gonna go flank is may gonna flank Blue team has the control. Hogger is going to take control back. May's trying to guard the middle, but that leaves the bottom. But I, I guess the Siege Giants stalled them out long enough, but it's still 4v3. Oh, no! Jada! Oh, unstoppable, but does he have a heal? Oh, 150! 10! Oh, the heal comes in with 10 hit points! Oh! That was a nice cleanse by Rhaegar, first of all. Oh, there's a swipe. Swipe doesn't do anything. This board might be going down. There's the ice wall. Did I have follow up? I don't think so. Oh, nice stun by Hanzo. Can they take it, Joe? There's the first kill for the red team. They're going after him. They have no tag. Can they get anything? Oh, the nice one slow him down. Oh, that was beautiful. Oh, there goes me. Oh, Jada gets Lunara. Can they get any more? Oh, Stukov's just standing in. Oh, Stukov just stood at Jaina's um, blizzard. Oh, I credit that victory to Rhaegar with the cleanse and then a heal on Jaina. Oh, that was beautiful. And Red, Red Team has the control. Can they get, get anything? I think Liara's going to be able to stop on. Oh, here comes Joe. You gotta be careful, Hanzo. Oh, spooky hand misses on Leoric. Okay, blue team took control in the bottom. Red team's got a big push up top. Oh, uh, here we go. It's 3v4. The ice wall to zone him out. Oh, 
Oh, Carol Jenner gets over here. The DPS is down. Still gonna try to swat him away. Can they get more? Oh, Elemental once more. The Elemental once more. Oh, but the Elemental is dying. Okay. Red team's got control on the bottom. But Hugger needs to. Okay. They're just gonna fight it out. Nothing interesting here. They got a 3v2 in bottom. 4v2 now. Experience wise, they're pretty even. But red team's slightly low on the bottom fork, but that doesn't matter. They still have it. Oh, and Tomb gets one! Oh, but it's not too bad. It's not so. Oh, no! Rager's so low! Nice! Nice! Oh, Jane is in the back lane! Oh, no! Jumps on! Hanzo makes the jump! Still dies! Still dies! Oh, that was nice by Stukov. Oh. That, I think the, his padded touch killed him. I'm not quite sure, because it followed him over the wall. All right. I think red team is going to give up this um, Dragonite. Oh, nope. No, they're not. Hogger is... Uh, okay. He was just poking. I don't think they can stall. There it is. Okay. Healer is in the Dragonite. Why doesn't he finish the bottom? Oh, yep. There you go. Okay. I was going to say. Go bottom. Bottom is still winning lane. Oh, there goes Hanzo. Jumping over the wall. Okay, this bottom fort is down. Is red team going to try to push forward? Because the healer is in the Dragonite, so they have no heals. If they can get to the back line, there's the nice ice wall. Gets the Dragonite, and uh, I didn't see who was that, Joe, but... Oh! Oh, well, Jana finished her quest. That's good. Hoggett's coming in the back. He's looking for a flank. Crushing Jaws. Okay. Here we go. Do we have anything? No. They don't want to push it. So Joe might try to use her Blessed Shield since they're all clumped up. But they said no. They got some da They got the mid um, fort and tower and the bottom fort. So they got some value out of that. Two teams getting camps. I think Conquer needs to take this camp. Why would you take Hogger and not take Camp? Nope, there he goes. He heard me. He heard me. There you go. Red team, are they gonna... They scouted the bottom. They know they're not there, so they're probably... they should know that they're on this camp. Alright, Hogger's coming. Oh, wait. Hogger did not take it. He's coming down, and he is undecided. Oh! Oh, nice and just wrong! Oh! Wait! Oh! Oh! Was that the healing... But, no, wait, why did Cestral hit? I mean, it didn't hit him. Joe didn't take the healing reduction. Does anyone else have a healing reduction? Oh, there it is. It was level 7. Reduces the healing. That must have been why. Oh, my gosh. That was clutch by Joe. Jaina still lived, though. Oh, my gosh. But I saw it in Cestral. Oh, Jane is okay. But Joe must have... Um, 35%. Wow, that's a lot. All right, blue team's got a, a big, big push on bottom. Red team's gonna have to answer, but they're gonna push top. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Jack Leoric, who's ungankable for a fort. I mean, for a keep. Oh no, this is not good. This is not good for the red team. You think he missed ancestral? Oh, okay. I saw that animation, but he, maybe he misclicked and hit someone else. Alright, well, the keeps is saved, so that's good. Nice ice wall, but he's got no follow-up. Everyone's not there. Crushing Jaws, but he gets to use his ice. No! Can they? Oh my gosh! Can they get Stuka? Can Hogger? Can they get him? No, oh, there's one down! Hogger gets Stuka! Hogger wants more! And they get off here! Oh! Red Team's running it down on them! Can they get more? May wants more. Can they get him? Oh, he's, he's frozen. Jaina froze him. Oh, and the Hanzo finishes it off. Three down. Can they get Can they get the deer? No, oh, and they get the deer. Four down. Dead deer. Can
they they get more. They they need to get this fort. They get yeah, get this. Are they going to get Dragon or are they going to get the fort? Uh, they're undecided there. They're going to get the Dragon. Okay. All right, they need to go bottom, even at the pressure on. But they're going to go mid instead. Okay. This fort is down. Are they going to continue? I think they need to go bottom. They need to go bottom. Yep, there they go. They got the mid fort, and now they're going to get the bottom fort. With those kills, um, red team has taken the lead in experience and taken the lead in levels. Assuming, I mean, structure. Lior's looking for a flank. Lior's looking for an tube. Can you get one? Can you get one? He's got two! Dice wall! Oh! Oh! Silence! Jane is silent! The Silence and Tomb combo! Oh! Jane is down! Hogan's finally here! But Orphia! Orphia gets killed by the Dragonite! Oh! And Raider's down! And Stukov! Can they get Stukov in the back? There's the swipe! There's the swipe! Dragon trying to do the best! Oh! Dragon wants... Oh! Can... Oh my god! Dragonite, you're gonna pop out of there and you're gonna... Have nowhere to go. Oh, red team gets the dragon up, but blue team gets the kills. Wow. But they got two forts, so not too bad. But that evens up the experience. Look at 18-18. About to be 19-19. That was a nice and tomb by Leoric. Gets two. And then Stuka followed with the Southerns. There's your level 20 talent for Leoric right there. That was really nice. Nice team. Nice job, blue team. All right, Hagrid's going back up top, and Hanzo is going to follow him. Not sure why he's following him, but okay. Oh, thank you, um, after our protocol for the raid. Um, welcome. We are just starting game one of this NGS 17 uh, matchup between High Inquisitors, Red Team on the right, and Wait Till 10 on the left. It's a pretty close game. It's been going back and forth. Uh-oh, May, uh, okay, May slides away. He's good. Hugger, are you gonna get camp? Nope. Hugger's gonna um, take the top, finish off the top. And the rest of the team is getting the camp. Okay, and Blue Team's getting the bottom. Blue team is going to have a nice big push with two camps on the bottom. They have the siege and the hard camp going. Another chance to prove yourself worthy. Do not squander. All right, and red team needs to protect this keep. They're sending all five. Hog is looking for the flank in the back, but you got the whip, so he they spot him out. Oh, can they get him? There's, there's the condemn. Unstoppable. Yeah, nice. All right, 5v5. Can they get this keep? Can they even out? Stukov misses with his friend in touch. Jane has got to be careful because it looks like Stukov's only there. Is, then tomb silence. Level 20. Oh, but then there's some total hits. Can they get more? Oh, can the pressing jaw gets one, but nothing. Oh. <laughs> They are oh, to Leoric. Who cares? Leoric's dead all the time. Anyway. Oh! Hogwild! 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 Oh! He pushes anyone, but he pays for it. Oh, but he gets a kill. Oh, but it's Kanagar. It's 40. Does he have a hands on hill? Lenar, the bear. The deer is dead. Oh, and they saved the keep. Oh, Joe. Joe is in an island. Where is Joe going? He's trying to buy space. Oh, but that's a five-man team wipe. Whoa. That's a nice defense by the red team. Oh my gosh. That was nice. And here comes the Dragonite. There we go. Hunter's getting the bottom. Hog is getting the top. And who's going to be in the Dragonite? Man, they wanted Jaina. They really wanted Jaina. But the Ancestral hit that time. Oh, Rhaegar MVP. Rhaegar MVP. There we go. He's going bottom. He wants to get this keep. This could be the first keep of the game. Learic is only one up, but everyone's going back up pretty soon. 
Blue team will here will be here for their defense. Dana's in the Dragonite, so <laughs> she's safe for a little bit. <laughs> they kept targeting her. Alright, I think this keep is dead. Question is, can they get more? Red team doesn't look like they're gonna to try to push it. They're gonna I think they're gonna just take the keep and go. There we go, okay. Learg spooky walks the kick from the Dragonite. They're trying to peel, trying to get out. Okay, red team is taking the safe play. I don't blame them. Are they gonna to try to get the mid keep? They still have 26 seconds on the Dragonite. They, okay, they're just gonna run away. They're gonna just run it out. They got 14 seconds left. Okay, all teams are 20, so levels doesn't ma matter too much. It's the structures, and the red team is winning because they got the keep down and they got the top board still. But this one's really low. It's like, uh, what, 20% left? All right, nothing left to do but get camps. I think the silent tomb is going to be um, the buried alive with the silence is going to be the key for blue team. If he can get multiple people in that. Especially Rhaegar, so Rhaegar can't do Incestival. I think that's going to be the key for Blue Team's win. Oh, they're invading. They're invading. Here they come. Blue Team did know it, but can Red Team finish it off in time? They're coming from behind. Here comes Learg. There's the two to hit anyone. Oh, well, they walk out of it, though. Oh, Hogger's dead. Hogger's dead. No, oh, they might lose. They, they still lose their Incestival, but oh. Oh, that was not a good invasion by the red team. Oh, blue team came in in time. The Learx and Tomb gets two, but they were able to walk out. But the main thing, it keeps Hogger trapped on the camp. So he can go anywhere, even if he wanted to. And he dies, and blue team gets the camp, and steals this camp. What can they do with it? I think they need to get... Uh, Actually, while well, they're on top, I guess they're going to they say, we're here, we got a camp, let's get the top fort. I guess that's a good call. I still think someone needs to go down and take that out. Blue team's got another camp coming, so the red team has to take care of that. But oh my gosh, how many points does this have? 4,786. Leoric should just, like, um, suicide this. All right, so with that one death, blue team was able to get the top four. I guess that was something. And the Dragon Knight's but you got pressure in the bottom and pressure. Oh, but they do get the Dragonite. 20 minute Dragonite's gonna hurt. And they're going after Leoric, but who cares is Leoric? Okay, now they need to heart back because this is down and you got a 21 minute um, Dragonite. That's gonna hurt. The core is gonna take damage for sure. And they got Joe in the Dragonite. Blue team is waiting for minions, I think. Because they're playing it safe. Or they're just trying to get Learic back. Maybe that's what they're doing. Learic's gonna pop him in the back line, he's gonna entomb him. Oh my gosh, red team needs to be careful. Leoric's gonna come back and he's gonna entomb everyone. They're all clumped up. Oh no, they're all clumped up. Oh no, oh, Hogwarts slow. It's just all misses. It's just all misses. Here comes Leoric. Here comes Leoric. Here comes Leoric. There he is. He's going after them. He's gonna have death and dumb thing at Jada. Oh, oh, nice, nice. Oh, but no. Oh, it's just all misses. Oh, this is GG. Oh, oh, Leoric that game. Who cares? Who cares? Hit the core! Dragon hit the core! Oh! They're fighting! Can they do it? 5,000! 4,000! Oh! No! They got Yo! Yes! Blue team! Oh! Nice comeback! Well played! Oh! Turning point was that camp! Turning point was the camp! Hogger dies! Blue team gets two camps, gets a Dragonite, and, um, wins the game!
That was the turning point. Well played, blue team. Red team even had more kills. 15 kills to the 7. Hanzo, look at that. 69,000. Lunar with 79,000. Wow. Wow. Look at the dance. And Duke off for 56. And Ray got this ancestral. When, when it hits, it hits well. GG. All right. So first um, game um, goes to wait till 10. They actually waited till 20 to win it. Nice job. Nice job. Okay. Let's see. So we have one zero going to wait for 10. All right. So while we're waiting for a lobby, um, let's talk about some other stuff. So the bands, um, the blue team, um, wait till 10 first band on practice holdout, um, followed by a band of BOE battlefield of attorney by the red team. And the blue team did not want to go to Cursed Hollow. So that was their second ban. And the second ban for High Inquisitors was Altharic Pass. So we will not be going to those maps tonight. And I do not know what the second map is. Um, let me see if I can find out. Okay, well, while we're waiting, let's talk about these teams. Um, High Inquisitor is, I believe, a brand new team uh, formed this season. Um, they decided they wanted to, to get together with some friends, and here we go. They played really well. They won a lot of team fights, but that decision for the invasion of the camp was their downfall. They were able to, um, blue team was able to pick it up from there. And the blue team, wait till 10, um, I believe had taken last season off, um, NGS 16. They were around NGS 15. I don't know how many original players are still on it, um, but they are back and they're back with a vengeance. They won their first game of their brand new season season 17. let's see if they continue to um win and get the domination or will high inquisitors come back and um, make it a three game match okay we have for the second game um sky temple Ooh, i don't see this map too often most people don't like it because this is a very macro intensive map. And people just want to team fight. <laughs> Let's get real. People just want to fight. No one wants to run around. Um, it's a very large map. That's why um, maps like Cursed Hollow and um, Garden of Terror is, is banned because those are big macro maps. All right, the lobby is up, but there are teams missing. Slowly filling up the lobby. Okay, um, everyone's here, I think.
Okay, I was wrong. They are not ready. <laughs> uh, they tricked me. So let's go back here. They need a minute. Maybe someone needed a bathroom break or get some water. Anyway, so we're going to Sky Temple. Um, objectives take out the structures really easily. So this, the objective battle should be um, quite fun. Oh, here we go. Okay. Now they're all ready and we should be going to the draft. I think you are ready. Okay, first pick, first bet is the blue team, uh, which means the red team picked this. This should be interesting. I wonder if they have something planned. Like I said, Sky Temple is not picked often. All right, so Blue Team is contemplating their first ban. Globals, I highly suggest Globals, either bans or picks. So Balsa and Brightwing, they were banned the first game. I wouldn't be surprised if they are banned again this game. Althos, okay. That seems kind of random. Not quite sure why they picked KT. He wasn't banned or picked first game. And Lin oh, here you go. Respect ban. Ah, I love it. Respect ban. Nice, nice. I don't remember who played Lenara, but um, well played Lenara. No dear for you. All right, they banned Brightwing last game. Are they going to ban it again? You know what? I would like to see... Oh, Hogger! Okay! Another respect ban. I didn't really see Hogger take um, a lot of camps. But that Hog Wild near the end was um, quite fun to watch. It definitely um, made them run. And a Nubrak. Okay, no globals banned on a very large map. So, will someone take Brightwing? There you go. Brightwing. First pick, insta-locked. I like it. I like it, like it, like it. So, let's see, Falstad. I want to see a Falstad or a Dehaka. What are they going to do? Oh, they're contemplating. Maybe they were hoping to get Brightwing and that ruined their plans. Because they, they... Okay, so they decided to take Joe and Falstad. There's... There is your global and Joe, easiest tank taken. Jumps sides from the blue team to the red team. All right, I wonder if any of these teams played the Haka. The Haka is great on this map. Variant, ooh, are we doing taunt variant or is that? Not lane variant. And Zagara. Zagara can be global if she takes the um those was it Nexus? Uh Nidus. The Nidus. That's the Nidus. Um that'll get her globals. So I wonder if that's what they're gonna do. Or are they gonna do the Maw? Maw is common, but in a large map like this. Sonya, Sonya Ben. Okay. Uh, uh, interesting band because no one played KT or Sonya in the first first game. Must be some target bands or maybe something they're just afraid of the leap. Sonya leap onto Falstad could pretty much insta- Oh, Samuro! <laughs> first they banned Zeratul in the first game and Samuro in the second game. Samuro is really good on this map. I don't blame him. Samuro is really, really good on this map. I wonder if that was red team's um, ace in the hole and blue team sniffed it out because they banned Zeratul and Samuro, so they must know something. 
All right, Rhaegar. Rhaegar played really well in the first game. And Jaina again. So red team still needs the offlaner. And blue team needs uh, DPS. And depending what variant is. Oh, there's Orphea again. I'm going to assume that's Taunt variant. That's probably their tank. So they need an offlaner. There you go, Dahaka. Dahaka. Blue team has two globals, Brightwing and Dahaka. And maybe Zagara, depending on what she goes. And red team needs uh offlaner. Unless they're gonna do false false status to offlaner. You know what? I'm gonna see Ragnaros. I'm gonna see Lava Wave. Come on, give me Ragnaros. Give me Ragnaros. Rainer. Oh, Rainer. Is that going to be um, Suicide Rainer? I wonder. Rainer could be just a Suicide Rainer. Just run it down. Level 20. Doesn't care. Does not care. Yeah, we'll see. I think red team has better team fights, but blue team has so much macro power. All right, game two between uh, Wait Till 10 and uh, High Inquisitors. We have the blue team on the left with Ronan on Varian, Lady Ronan on Brightwing, Iceman on Orphea, Hannibal on Dahaka, and Tantrum on Zagara. And on the right side, we have Fairy on Jaina, Pina Colada on Joanna, Funko on Falstad, Bandit on Raynor and Skin Maniac on Rhaegar. All right. Go fight. Do oh, Red King is going bottom. Interesting. Okay, Fingers of Frost, Zelda the Glare, Totem, Lion's Maw, and Point, Nats Agility, and Corsi. Okay. Red Team is going to take this first tower down. Nice. Okay. And then you're going to run away. Raynor. Um, Rainer, are you going exterminator? Joe is backing up. Red team took advantage that blue team doesn't have a real tank until level four and successfully took one tower. Okay, here we go. What did he take? He did take exterminator. Blue team is going to answer back, taking one tower on the bottom. Boston and Rhaegar cannot do anything to stop it. Here we come. Oh, yeah, I think Zagara's little minion is going to take it down. Oh, it didn't take it down. Four hit points. <laughs> Four hit points. Almost took out the tower. Uh, Zagara just needs to spit on it and it's going to take it down. Uh, <laughs> okay, Rainer is just going to AFK it down. He's just, oh, the tongue misses on Dahaka. Oh, Rainer could have been dead there if the tongue hit. Okay, so experience is still pretty even. He, oh, here we go. Varian stitched it out, but Varian, you're not a real hero until level four. You gotta be careful there. Well, Sad is getting the nice uh, mid soak, so that gives Red Team slight advantage lead in experience. Looks like Blue Team is gonna concentrate on the bottom. Yeah, be careful though. Variant's gonna be hitting four soon. Four is first by red team. Here we go. Once they hit four, is Varian gonna go in? I assume it's gonna be taunt. It can't be anything else. Click your talent, click your talent, click your talent, and you can taunt them. Oh! I think they could have gotten something if, if they had their if they had clicked fast enough. 
Okay. What is it with people not wanting to get the talents? Okay, there you go. Yagara was able to get the power down. Here we go. Taunt. Not surprising. Oh, they're going for false that. They're going for false that. They're going for false that. Oh! It, does, it would not matter because there was no follow up. There would have been no follow up, but. False that was lucky there. Oh, Orphea? Oh! Oh! They ran right by her. <laughs> oh. Oh, that was funny. Oh! Uh, okay. I was gonna say, does um, Joe have a condemn? But apparently not. Alright, objectives up. Slight experience lead by the red team. Um, structural wise, red team's got a slight advantage. Oh, Jaina! Oh! Taunt and taunt! But there's no follow up. It's just off you down here. Blue team at the top. And red team can't really do anything. Blue team is strongly got the top, and Joe is just trying to be a pain. Red team is trying to help the top. Red team's giving up. Oh, they got the kill up top with Zagara. The red team takes over with a couple shots left. Blue team takes over the mid with a couple shots left. Let's see, they got the tower and some damage on the fort. Um, pretty much the same up top. So structural wise, they're pretty even. So it's experience. Oh, did the polymorph? Can they? No. Okay. It's only two of them. It was five v two. So. All right. There's the globals. Daga's on the bottom, giving them an experience lead. That's the power of the globals. Red team's getting camps though. Nope. Blue team's getting camps too. Ballstad was able to pick up some of the missing experience. On the bottom, so... And Rainer is going to stay up top. He is just going to run it down. Terminator, fight or flight, deal the rest. Yeah, he is just going to run it down. Yeah. Oh, oh, can they get him? Alright. Oh, red team's going to the top. Find it. But they got a camp, so they got to be careful. It's 4v3, but with a camp. But here comes Varian. Varian's going to come from the back. He's going to look for a taunt. But he's, he, he needs follow-up. Red team sees him. Can he get anything? No. Nope. Okay. Everyone's disengaging. Falstad's doing his best. Try to keep up the soak between the Haka. They got a nice push here. Are they going to invade? Nope. Slide experience lead by blue team. All right. Oh, they're invading. Oh, false dead. Dead. Oh, dead chicken. They got the camp, but false dead. Oh, they're doing boss. They're doing boss. They're about to get tens. Both teams about to get tens. But, oh, yeah, they're disengaging. Smart. I was going to say, boss throw. Doc is getting the global up top. I mean, experience up top. False dead's back. All right, both tens, shield wall, emerald wind, crushing jaw, adaptation. Ooh, and devour. Oh, he's he's not going Nidus. Elemental, plus shield, gust, Hyperion, and ancestral. All right, Doc is coming down. Rainer's coming down. Right wing is coming down. Blue team's on the objective. Red team wants to fight though. Red team wants to fight. They don't care about the objective. They, they might lose this bottom fort though. They, they're, yep, they're giving it up. They're gonna give up the bottom fort. Daka is keeping Rainer from joining. So Rainer says, forget it, I'm gonna run him down top again. All right, first fort down for the blue team. And blue team has slight advantage. Experience and structural. They're going from gank. Oh, can they get anything? Nice. Then here comes the taunt. Oh, there's the maw. It gets two. Jane is in trouble. Oh, the guys to save him. Oh, Rhaegar. Oh, no. Unstoppable. Daka with it. Did he pop adaptation? Nope, not yet. Oh, hey. 
Fuck, it sounds the bird! And Cecil misses! The bird is dead! They want more! Joe! Does he have any... Uh, oh, four hit points! That was a nice tongue by Dhaka. Oh, Dhaka. Here comes the next fort. I don't think Joe can do anything. This fort is dead. Run it down, Rainer. He's trying his best. He's, he's gonna die for this fort. He's gonna die for this fort. Oh, 183. Oh, he dies, but the fort lives. Oh, nice job, Dhaka. Oh. I guess it, it was worth it if he got it, but he didn't get it, and... Blue team is... Ooh! Joe is on... Had the proper trait there. They want this mid-fort. They want this mid-fort. I think they're going to get it. There's the ton of Joe's ancestral! It hits! Oh! <laughs> Priming dice to the fort! Can they get more? Can they get Joe? But Joe might be dead. Oh my gosh. Off you wants Joe. Off you wants Joe. Oh! Foster wants revenge! Oh! Janet gets variant! The crossing John misses! Oh! The elemental! They're getting! Oh, but here comes the Zagara! Oh, Foster flies, but it goes the wrong way! It goes the wrong way! Foster wants Orphia! Oh! Pina Collider! Joanna's it's gonna be- the Oh! Foster gets Orphia! And they get Zagara! Oh! Bradwing's the only one living! Oh! And he blinks in! Rainer finally gets the- Finally gets the fort! Red team is fighting back and they're getting the boss! Here we go! Boss and two objectives. This is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. Rainer is just getting um, experience. He doesn't care. He's playing it safe, not getting the objective. All right, Jaina is <laughs> Jaina is getting interrupted by the tornado. <laughs> no one saw that. Don't worry. No one saw that. <laughs> All right. So blue team is getting the. Um, made objective, which is good. Um, the objective and the boss is getting the um, bottom fort, which will even out the pressure. And Jaina finally hearts back. Tornado kept her from hearting. When it down, Rainer has to take care of the top. All right. Even at the experience, that was a nice team fight for the red team. The blue team still has the globals. Rainer is going to get the camps. Jaina is going to get the camps. Jaina needs to be careful in case red, um, blue team invades. Here they come. Here they come. They're spotted though. There's the taunt. There's the taunt of Rainer. And the gust. And the ancestral. That was worth it. Blue team draws out two important heroics. And Rainer could be in trouble. Oh. And Brightwing saves the Haka. That was a nice taunt by Varian. Ancestral and Gust down. Oh, Rainer had to abandon the camp to help. All right, structural wise, everyone's down to uh, their three keeps. Red team is staying together, though. I don't see... Okay, red team is going to push with the camp. I think. Nope. They decided against it. They don't see where they the blue team is, so they want to protect their keeps. Blue team says, I want to protect my keeps, too, and they're going to answer the camp. Everyone's playing it safe. The Haka is being the Haka and just offlane pushing. All right, camps are cleared. I think they're just going to make for the next objective for the fight, unless they can catch someone out of position. Dhaka's doing a nice job getting vision. Not much to do yet. Oh, but Joe, is he by himself? Does he have a tank? No, I mean a tongue, but he's okay. All right, are they gonna team fight? Everyone's got their six teams. Ooh, blue team is gonna. But this is good. This is good for the blue team. They're gonna get the wall and the tower and the objective of the top, which will be pushing the keep. Oh, there's the tower. Where's the tower? There's the tower. 
Does he have anything? Oh, not enough. Oh, 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 100. Oh, the heel, the heel. Oh my gosh. The guy almost killed him. Almost. Oh my gosh. Because that um, 1.75% every time this stupid Zerg hits you. That hurts. Floss has got to be careful. All right, so red team was able to get uh, most of the shots on the bottom. And red team is getting the top, but they almost killed it. How much is left? 1,283 left on the top keep. When's boss? Boss got a minute. Are right, they going to get this? All right. My team is going to steal the camp, but they're spotted because Zagar is there. They're running, they're running. They decided not worth it. They know they're there, but here comes, here comes the red team. Fosta and Daka come in anytime. Oh, here comes Fosta. There's Daka. He's in. Chases him away. But the blue team has the camp on the bottom, so that's good for blue team. And they get the camp, and they save their walls and tower. So structural wise, blue team is definitely a lead, and experience lead. They got about a quarter of a level. Next big fight will take out a keep for sure. Boston needs to be careful. Blue team wants to keep. Blue team wants to keep. Oh, boss! I could gust them away, but there he goes. The guy, stupid minions. I hate those. Doc is looking for Jaina. Okay, that was close. That was scary. I was afraid for her. All right. I mean, they got the camp there, but boss is also up. Are they going to go for it? Uh, they are. They know the red team's up top. They should get this easily. I mean, you can get boss that maybe they're flying in and gust them away. Oh, it's not as easy as, as I thought. There's the blind. Oh, there's the taunt. Boss that's getting position. He's there. Where's the gust? The gust! Gust is too slow. It ain't. It was late. It was late. The boss is taken by the blue team. It was a little late, but can they get some kills? Can they get Daka? Oh, Daka tries to burrow away. They get three kills for the boss. Oh, nice. But they still have to get the boss. They have to kill the boss. Oh, that almost was perfect for the red team. Boss, that was a little slow on the gust. All right. So they got to kill this boss. They saved the bottom keep, so that was good for the blue team. And the red team is going to head to this one, so it's got... Will it take it to that? I'm not sure if that's enough shots to take out the keep. I, I think so. If he gets all, all of them, I think that's going to be down. So the red team is going to get the uh, camp. Rainer. Oh. Rainer, did he take... Yeah, execute order. Run it down, Rainer. I think Rainer is going to suicide... Take out a keep. They got this top keep. Yep. They got all four, all the shots, so uh, top keep is gone. Top keeps of both are gone. Daka is out. Oh. Hi, um, Shadowness. Thank you for the raid. We are in game two. Oh, are they going to get it? Oh, I thought Raider was going to steal it. It was a little slow. Welcome, Raiders. We are in game two uh, between Wait Till 10 and High Inquisitors. Wait Till 10 won the first one. And second one, we are near the end. We have the red team slightly ahead on experience and slightly ahead on structures. Both bottom keeps are really low. I, I don't see why um, Suicide Rainer just Suicide take this keep. I mean, that's why you take um, Execute Order, because your death time is down to 35 seconds. So go in there, 
Oh. Take out this key. But instead, there are um, they're playing as five, which is the safe way, which I can't blame them. Is this best of three? Yes, this is best of three. All right, Joe's trying to clear out the division of Zagara. All right, double objective. More keeps are going to fall for sure. I still think Rainer just needs to go in here and hit a Cyperion, die, hit a double, take out the keep, and respawn 35 seconds. But they're going to go all five. At least they're going to play it safe. But they're not going to get the keep. They're not going to get the keep. They're going to six seconds for the objective. All right. Yeah, red team should get this one. Oh, actually, both teams. Because I think... Oh, uh, no, he's going to hit the middle one first. I thought he was going to hit the bottom first, but nope. Oh, nice turn! Nice turn! Oh, the guy! Oh, the guy saves him! Oh, maybe not! Maybe not! Nice, nice! Nice cleanse! Oh, Jaina might be in trouble, though! Doc is going in! Oh, it's blocked by Jaina! Oh, the tongue misses! Oh, oh, it's ancestral! But they still want Jaina! They still want Jaina! Docker wants Jaina! Oh no, the polymorph! Oh! Oh no, Joe's in trouble! Joe goes down! Joe goes down! Damn all the winds is trying to separate them! Oh! Now! Now! Oh no! Oh no, disaster! Disaster for the red team! Oh! I thought they saved them. I thought Rhaegar saved them! But they were split! They were split! Joe was on the wrong side! And she died! Blue team just needs to back up, get the objective. Back up and get the objective. The objectives will get both. Well, no, I maybe mean, they should take it. They should go in. What am I talking about? There's three dead. There's three dead. They could have gotten, they could have gotten damage on the core. Okay, they're playing it safe. They're playing it safe. They're going to get probably both keeps. They get both keeps with uh, both objectives. And Doc is getting the um, siege camp. Oh, uh, I thought they pulled it out with the Gust and Ancestral. But Joanna was on the wrong side. And then Joe died first and then Dana died and Rainer died. Ooh, you're going to start flying in. Can they get anything? But it's immediately... <laughs> oh, nice combos by the blue team. All right. Well, red team steal some shots, but... Gain is far behind. Here comes the Haka. They got to Stop him. Oh my gosh, Doc is such a pain. Oh, nice cleanse. Can they get... Can they get... They get him! The Gust! The Gust pins the Haka against the wall. They finally get him. Oh, Joe misses. Joe misses the shield. Joe misses the shield. Okay, well, can the, what can the red team do? They lost all, all their keeps. They have siege... Are they going boss? 5v4? Are they going boss? They have Ancestral, they have no Gust. Scout out, Rainer starts it, Rainer starts it. But everyone else is fighting Polymorph! Oh! Oh my gosh! Oh! Oh, that's bad! They killed Joe! Oh! They were split again! Joe was scouted them out. Which was nice. Joe did a really good job, but Rainer started killing the the boss. Oh, is Gust up? Gust is up and Gust is up. Can he get us? Can this Doc is gonna be up though? Doc is gonna go in the back line. They either have to do this fast and Gust everyone up before Doc here comes. Here comes Doc. The Gust, but the boss is not dead. But they steal it. Did they steal it? They didn't steal it. Oh, crushing jaw. Oh, just little hits. Oh, the boss is stolen! The boss is... Oh, but the maw gets four! The ball gets four! The maw gets four! Oh, the maw gets four! They're gonna get him! Oh, the false dead is dead! False... Oh, well, okay. He flies out, but... Oh, that was a beautiful maw! And the gust is down. This is it. GG. Oh, my gosh. They stole it, but the maw gets four. Oh, Oh my gosh, beautiful. This is it. GG. GG.
18, 16, 10, 8. Oh, nice. Nicely done. Nicely done. All right, let's look at some stats. Orphea, 49k. Okay. Rainer. Run it down, Rainer. Has the most damage. He went, um, he did, yeah. Field of Rose, give me more. Malachi. Okay, well, I mean, he did the most siege, which I expected, but he also got the most damage, which not I was expecting. Okay, well played. Uh, Dhaka, MVP for most of the game, but Zagara with that four-man maw at the end. <laughs> oh, that was beautiful. That was absolutely beautiful. Well played. All right, I'm seeing if, they get, if I can get an interview. Um, no one is coming. Let me see if I can ping them. Let's see, who was the captain? That was Ronan. Where, oh, where are you? Hello. Hey, what's up? GG, well played. Yeah, that was fun. That was, that was a crazy two games right there. That was how we want to kick it off. So we have Ronan, the captain of the blue team. Uh, wait till 10. Yeah. Um, that was really exciting. Well, well played game. So uh, let's talk about Dragonshire first. Yeah, let's um, do that. You picked that. Was there a specific reason why you you picked Dragonshire? Um, no, <laughs> honestly, <laughs> didn't really go in with any strategy on the map pick. It was uh, I, mean, I think we feel comfortable on most maps, but um, it just felt right at the time, you know. It, it did. Uh, you played well. I I thought the uh, red team was coming back and going to get it, but you got yeah. those kills at the end. Yeah, it was really scary for sure. It could have went either way. It like, could've. we definitely made some mistakes that, you know, putting ourselves in positions where we probably didn't need to be, but we tried it anyway and didn't work out. And we were just like, oh my gosh, I hope they don't end. And luckily they weren't able to. And uh, yeah, just shifted it back after that. So. I think Luark did really well in the double soaking and um, stopping Hogger from rotating. Okay, yeah, I didn't get to see that part. Yeah, but yeah. um, you were busy, too busy. <laughs> so he was kind of messing with them in between the lanes, or what? Yeah, he was always sitting in the bush looking for a rotation, and then uh. he would just spooky hand them, and but and he still kept up with his double soaking. So yeah, I well, there you go. He's um, yeah, not really worried about Hannibal in the off lane. He, can take care of himself and usually does what's right for the team so yeah that's that's great to hear uh, and i have to say i loved the, the haka in the second game <laughs> oh my god any the particular reason oh he was just all over but his tongues were hitting he was just mm. hitting everything he was always going i think it was jana who was going after and uh he made everyone's life miserable <laughs> oh, <my gosh. laughs> oh yeah awesome <laughs> Um, I would give Daka MVP for the second game, but the MVP play of the game was the Zagara Mall at the very end. Oh my gosh, that Four was nasty. Mall. I mean, you yeah. stole the boss, but you got the kills because of that Maw. So Han Hannibal was able to get on it, and then the Maw was like right just in time before they, I guess, capped it. Yeah, because he was able to gust it, and then, but the. The boss wasn't dead when he gusted. it. He did it a little too early. Mm. So everyone fought a little bit then. Uh, I guess Diaka burrowed and then lost the cap and they stole it. And then <laughs> the guard just said, okay, you can have the boss. We're going to take the game. Yeah. Okay. Everyone did their part, you know? Yes. Just, that's how you win as a team, right? Exactly. It's definitely not an individual effort. So. Yes. But yeah, the, uh, people can definitely shine like that. So that was, that was great to see. Both really close games. Yeah. So um, 
is is this the same team you had? You took a season off. Is that correct? We took at least two, oh, two seasons. seasons off. Oh, nice. Yeah. I had played with Brickhouse for a couple seasons. Um, and now that everybody's schedules kind of opened up a little bit more and the drive was back, it was a... Uh, it was time to bring the team back together. So we're going to see what we can do this season. Is it mostly the same team? Oh, yeah. We've been playing as a team pretty consistently over the past, like, <laughs> yeah, basically ever since HOTS came out, we're all, like, friends in real life. And uh, But some of us live in different states now. Oh, um, okay. But, yeah, we like to get on every now and then and just game together, playing HOTS and whatever else. And oh, Yeah, it's pretty cool. It doesn't look like he lost anything. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm just happy to see that. So, the the High Inquisitors did play really well. They had some really good team fights. Yeah, like I said, they're they're a very tough team. Like we had to play our best in order to get those wins out. Right. Um, so yeah, it was a very fun series. And you got the domination, so that's nice. Nice for the yeah. points. Ooh. <laughs> is it different this year with the dominations uh yeah or no? um it's like if you win if you at least win the game then you get at least a point but if you got a domination you get an extra point oh, okay that's right yeah 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 okay awesome Woo <laughs> yeah so so you got that extra point well played cool yeah okay um do you want to give some shout outs then to anyone um We've definitely been shouting out this whole time, but um, <laughs> but again, yeah, I was just grateful. Uh, my team, we all came together. Uh, sometimes we can play a little impulsive, you know, <laughs> and go off and do our own thing. But uh, today we played really well together as a unit, um, and hopefully we can just keep doing that. And uh, shout out to you for casting. Always appreciate that. It was fun. And, though I was yeah. hoping for a three game match, but oh well. <laughs> yeah, that would have been fun. I wouldn't have minded that at all. So, <laughs> um, and shout outs to them too. It was good playing uh, with Bandit again. He's a former Lubu guy back from the past. So that was fun to see him again. Pina Colada, he's a uh, veteran of the game as well. Um, oh, so, and the so rest you know, of the team. You know, people from the other team then. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I've been around for a while, so <laughs> get to know some people. Okay. Um, We've chased down yeah, and uh, Killer Fairy played really good. Funko, Tuesday, uh, Skin. Yeah, it's uh, good to meet them and play them all. Okay. Well, um, good luck on your next game next week. Do you know who you're playing? Or do you also do you know what time? Dang, I don't know. Oh, okay. I was so focused on this one. Yeah, but... never mind. I didn't ask that. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, I'm gonna be looking that up pretty soon here. So. Okay. Well, good luck and well played tonight. Yeah. Thank you. Have a good night, man. You too. Good night. All right. See ya. All right. Well, that ends um, week one of NGS 17 with wait to ten with a domination win two zero against the uh, High Inquisitors. Very, very close matches. Um, could have gone either way. Um, I would raid you over, but the next match by Raka doesn't start for another 15 minutes, and she hasn't started her stream yet. So sadly, I cannot raid you over. Um, okay, so then I will just end the stream. Um, my next stream is next Tuesday, um, same time, 8 o'clock. Um, I will be casting Macro Machines versus... Oh, I don't remember the other team. Anyways, I will see you next Tuesday. Um, until then, um, have good luck and have fun, and happy Valentine's Day tomorrow. Um, good night, everyone.